How's it going, everybody, and welcome back to the Master League here on Pez 2019 with Ted Lasso. Now, this episode's going to be a pretty important one going forward as we're going to wrap up the month of January in this episode and have three more Premier League matches on here. And um, as of lately, we're in a little bit of a funk right now as far as uh, getting the team situated here. Ted Lasso's done a lot of experimenting this month, and it just doesn't seem to be working, whatever he's done. So, we'll have to wait and see, but at the meantime, the owner has stepped in and wants us to beat Everton. A double mission to beat Everton. That is going to be a tall order because it is a Derby match, and Derby matches in this game are pretty intense. You know what the fans expect from us against their local rivals, so let's go out there and give them what they want. After a stirring speech from Ted Lasso there, here's what the lineup's going to look like. Mignolet in net, with Gomes and Wilde at the center backs, Robinson and Arnold the fullbacks, Hendricks is the lone defensive midfielder, Keita and Shakiri the attacking midfielders, Markovic and Asala the wingers, and Daniel Sturridge is up top. The snow is falling here at Anfield for this another Merseyside derby on the books. Everton taking out Liverpool. Everton with the opportunity here to sweep Liverpool this season after they got the win at home last time. Us, on the other hand, we're looking to regroup here after it's been a tough month for us. We lost one of our top players, trying to scramble to find more signings to compete for the league title, while the rest of our rivals seem to be gaining momentum on us. So we need to make a statement here with uh, our squad a bit heavily rotated. Let's see if we can make a difference here. Up in behind. Baines, good cross in. The header, what a save from Mignolet. Does Everton get a shot on that there? As we were scrambling to defend it. Good little one two between Charleston and Baines. Baines with a low cross in, and Mignolet had to make the palm save to Nias' shot. All in behind. Looking for Keita. Keita takes a touch. Makes a shot and makes it count. And it's a goal for Liverpool. Great bit of counterattacking. As it's Keita who comes up big there. And we absolutely need that one. Everton being aggressive here. Not giving us space to breathe. But that time we found the space to breathe on the counterattack. And Keita's the man who delivers with a beautiful goal. See there, ball's one in the midfield. Ball's played out to Sturridge, lays it off to Keita. Keita takes a touch away from the keeper, then buries it back across goal. You can see the technique played here. Sturridge, great bit of play, sucking the defenders in. Great bit of touch, and Pickford had no chance. Shakiri now. Oh, it's Keita. Oh. Oh, it's Shakiri. Shakiri, and he makes it two. In a matter of minutes, Liverpool have broken this game wide open, and it's Shakiri. Oh, man, the midfielder is doing some work here. And Everton are shell shocked at the moment. Have no answer for Liverpool's midfield as it's now Shakiri's turn to bury it home at Pickford. Unlucky, not got a mid on it, but not enough to push it away. There it is again. Sturridge turning provider here. And Keita thought about the shot, was deflected, but it fell right to Shakiri. And Shakiri, no doubt about it, finished it. And now Everton have got to be a little bit shell shocked here. It's Liverpool flexing their muscle here in the Derby. Oh, the shot, and ooh, Nias got it away. Everton trying to crawl one back here. After giving up two goals in succession here. Play opened up nicely. Hendricks trying to cut off the pass, but Nias still got a wicked shot away. And that's going to be the halftime whistle. Well, it was a flurry from our attacking midfielder, Skates and Shakira, that's made the difference here. 2 0 going to the locker room for Liverpool. Out wide, Mo Salah. We'll look to open up the space here. 
Oh, Sturridge. Oh, Pickford had to make the save. As we were looking to spring another goal on him here. There's Mo Salah running down and into the wing of the box. Cuts back. Shakiri one times it to Sturridge. And Sturridge snaps the shot. Low at Pickford. Oh, that's an ugly challenge there on Origi. And the referee's going to come over and have a show a card. Yeah, I think that was uh, Browning. Yeah, Browning went in there hard on Origi there. So he's going to receive the pass out wide. Just, yeah, put him from behind. He does. And, oh, not far off. He's trying to curl that one in. And it just hits the side netting. Oh, nice bit of work there. Sturridge takes a shot. Oh, it's saved. Oh. Oh, nice turn. Oh, and we get the shot away. Much better performance here. Now why Mo Salah. Now them. Sturridge and oh. And a dominate performance. Exactly what Ted Lasso ordered from the side as we get the victory against Everton 2 0. And you can see what it means to the, the fans and the players. Got a huge victory at home. It was a match we dominated and a match we definitely needed to. Um, very good performance at home. I can't complain with that performance. It looked very much more solid out there. I mean, it was Shakiri Keita doing a lot of the heavy lifting along with Sturridge providing provider, but all up and down, solid game. Really took it to Everton who were believe a bit tired coming to this one they were a little bit more ragged than we were we were a little more fresh but a good result nonetheless second match of this episode we'll see us play host to Huddersfield Town here's what the line looks like same formation as before with a 4-1-2-3 formation Mini Lakes in net Sanchez and Van Dijk the center backs Moreno and Cancelo the fullbacks Pena the defensive midfielder Wijnaldum and Oxley Chamberlain are the attacking midfielders Markovic and Sala the wingers and Origi the center forward up top it's a gorgeous afternoon here in Anfield as uh, Premier League action gets back underway here with Liverpool taking on Huddersfield Town. Liverpool coming off the big derby win against Everton, not looking to keep momentum here going into the end of the month here in January as the window's coming shut. Huddersfield Town, they're scrambling at the moment to stay relevant in the Premier League. They're towards the bottom half of the table in the relegation zone. But uh, don't forget, this team did beat us earlier in the year at their ground. So Liverpool are looking to spot some more revenge here against the side that gave them you know, their only few losses on the campaign. Oh, hard tackle there. And so the referee's got to pull out the first yellow card of the match here early. I believe that's Hogg, number six, the guilty party. We'll take another look here. Liverpool, we're just slowly getting into the game here. And yeah, Hogg dove, dove in. Oh, nice ball in, Mo Salah, and he subs it wide. Good bit of attack there from Liverpool there off the, the dead ball. Moreno found Winalda. Winalda back to Moreno. Moreno with a beautiful whip ball in, but the clearance just couldn't get it on frame. Oh, why? Oh, nice job by Mo Salah. Driving in, low cross in. It's off the post. No, it's in. It's in the back of the net. It's Winalda who scored. And uh, Liverpool take the lead here early. And I thought for a moment there the keeper was able to get there. But there was a collision right on the edge of the box. And Winalda buries it home again. And Liverpool flexing their muscle early here to take the lead. see it here just good play down the middle is almost solid cut around the defender runs down the byline low cross in and uh it looked like when Adam was trying to chip the keeper and it just went off of him it just hit hard enough that it beat him 
Oh no, he, he just, the keeper was a bit late. He took out Winaldo. But a great finish from the Dutchman. Oh no, Monet's on side. Big save for the clearance. Oh, Kritcher with the opportunity to put mid level it there. And we were caught out there and played the trap. And uh, Huddersfield Town broke it. But great save by Minule. And fortunate Pritchard couldn't get it on frame. And that's the halftime whistle. And right now, the eighth minute goal from Ronaldo is the only dent in the scoreboard either side's been able to make. As he both going to the locker room. Oh, good ball in. Cleared away. Now completely. The shot stinging off the hands of Mignolet. Little cool change in the shape here. Oh, wow, well, wide. No, the header just goes wide. Diacabe nearly leveled it there. That was a dangerous ball in. As he wasn't being marked properly. Now, wide. Cancelo hoops it in. Good pace. Origi, and a, what a save from the keeper. It will be a corner. Good play off the, off the dead ball foul there. Good play. Just playing it. One, two. Kinsella was out wide. Whips it in. And uh, keeper couldn't stop it. Oh, that's a foul. And uh, referee's going to have a card book fair for Mbenza. Mbenza. As uh, Liverpool are looking to just control the game here. And... Uh, Definitely a cheap foul there. Not a smart play to give up one there. Shakiri lines up for the kick here. Did he hit it too hard? Yes, he did. A little too much power from Shakiri. So he's trying to curl that in, but not on target. And that's the final whistle. It wasn't pretty, but Liverpool get. A uh, measure of revenge against Huddersfield Town here at home. 1 0 the final. And that's how the results look like. We get the win. It, wasn't, it was an even performance from both sides, but you can see the foul count. Huddersfield Town, eight fouls, uh, as they weren't uh, looking to really slow us down here in this one. Really drug the match to a crawl with the foul count. Um, I'm glad we got the goal early. I think Ted's pretty happy we got the goal early. Most silent man of the match with the assist. And uh, Winalda scoring the goal. Look at just all around. And that's what we want to see when we're playing opposition like this. Just we're the better quality side. You need to show it here. And it wasn't a pretty result, but it was an effective result. We're getting close to the end of the January transfer window. Just, just a couple days before the window shuts, we scouts found a winger we could potentially get from Saar, uh, from Reigns in France. He's uh, really cheap, really young, and we're going to do a swap deal with Stolenke, who's been getting some good playing time, and his value's gone up quite a bit, and he's actually going to be a good deal for us, I think, if we uh, give this a swap deal here. But uh, eight million for a twelve million dollar player uh, position, we need to add some depth in since the loss of Sadio Mane. I would think it is a good bit of business. All right, it is time for the January transfer window, and already off to a rough start. Asar has turned down the offer to come be a depth player. A little disappointing. Uh, I was thinking he would be a lock, but now that is going to be scrambling to see if who else we can sign. That the window is shut. Um, a little disappointing. We weren't be able to find anybody to fill in some gaps, but not a huge deal either way. Uh, banks of cash for later on. And team of the month looks like this. Mosala and Kita make the team of the month for January. Final match of this episode. We'll see us take on West Ham United at the London Stadium. Here's the lineups: like Allison back in net for us. Lovren and Van Dyke, the center backs. Robinson and Arnold, the full backs. Hendricks, the defensive midfielder. Keita and Shakiri, the attacking midfielders. Oxley Chamberlain and Salah are on the wings. And Origi is going to be the center forward up top. The sun is, the snow is falling here from the London Stadium. As you can see, we've got the stadium server up and running now. I think this is the first stadium we've seen from it. And 
Looks good so far, boys, as we're taking on West Ham United in the uh, cold London Stadium. And Liverpool, we've been on a little bit of good run of form in the month. Now we're in the middle of February. Champions League is going to fire back up. And we've got to keep pace with the leaders ahead of us. West Ham United having a good season. Open to play spoiler once again. Oxide like Chamberlain now. Gets to that one. Ox whips it in with pace. Mo Salah. Oh, big save by Adrian. It's a corner. Liverpool being very patient. Just looking for space to open up that back line. Ox gets down the line. Whoops, a nice cross in, and Mo Salah nearly buried it. The header. Oh, just. Sales wide as both teams now have had the opportunity to uh, put the corner in on, on frame just wide. Oh, surely that's going to be another foul. And he's already been booked. The referee may pull his second yellow here. He's walking over to the individual, shaking his head. And it is a second yellow and a red card sending off. Obiang, two fouls in succession as Keita falls down to the ground hard. Referee calling for the medics to come on the field. Keita, and another similar challenge. And now wide to Arnold. Arnold sets the ball. Out wide, Shakiri. Shakiri, low cross, Santa Rigi's there. Up. Oh. Ah, cleared up field. Oh. And that's going to be the halftime whistle. It's nil-nil here going into the locker room, but West Ham are down to 10 men. As uh, Obiang got two successive yellow cards. Shakiri now. Oh, Origi! And what a chance from Origi, and he buries it home. And Liverpool will come out the second half and get a quick goal here. It's the youngster Origi, and... Uh, Ted's been giving him more and more opportunities to play, and he repays the favor once again with a goal. And uh, the people here at the London Stadium, the West Ham supporters, a little bit gutted as they failed to uh, clear the ball there. As Origi initially wanted to lay off that pa to pass. As you can see here, built up was nice. Everybody's going for it. He's looking to find Kieta, but the ball fell right back to him. And Origi decided the second time to shoot on the left foot, and he was able to bury it home. Here it is again. Look at the quick pass. Nice deflection. <laughs> Origi just bouncing it off the defender and then burying it home. Oh, looking for the ball over the top. There was a slip, and Oxy Chamberlain going to be through here. Across San Origi. Oh, what a save. He put some force into that near post shot. And Adrian was there. He ate to spot at the run. Of uh, Ox. Ox able to drive down the touch line, whips it low, and Adrian is forced to make a save. Oh, that's a foul. <laughs> Nasty challenge, and the referee's going to go over there and probably book the end of number 23, and he does. So Mo Salah was giving him fits down the ring. Diop, the guilty party. So there, Mo Salah kind of baking him there as he was trying to cut back. Just an elbow to the face. Oh, no, a foul's called in the box. The referee's going to call a penalty on Mo Salah. Oh, no, no, no. This is not what referee doesn't want to hear anything about it. He clearly called the foul as uh, number 26 was cutting inside. Ooh, just got enough of him, I guess, to call the pin. Yarmolink goes up. Oh, he goes right down the middle and... West Ham United catch a break here on the penalty and tie this game up. Unbelievable. Now Liverpool have got it all to do once again. As the fans here at the London Stadium love it. As they've been getting dominated in this match, but now they get the goal to potentially steal a point here at home and take the three away from uh, Liverpool. It was a great finish, just right down the middle. Oh, there it is. Turnover now. Salah. 
And behind Winaldo. Winaldo. And he sends it wide. Oh, that was a chance right there. As we hemmed West Ham in on the press. And Winaldo was loose. All he had to do was place it. But he places it wide. Felipe Anderson. Oh. Oh, another penalty's been given, or is it a dive? Oh, a dive's been given. Felipe Anderson got called for the dive, and surely that's a yellow card. Because Alexander made the tackle. No time left here. The pool need to get this ball forward. And nope, the referee's going to blow the whistle, and that's it. Liverpool despite having the man advantage, couldn't get the three points here, and they lose, or they draw, I should say. If you're Ted Lasso, you got to be absolutely gutted with this result. Um, we dominated this game, and we had it well in control, but then we give up the penalty, and uh, we couldn't get crawl another one back. And Tough one to swallow, but we only get a point here in London, at the London Stadium. Um, once again, our team is playing very solid. You can see the ratings. We're, we're not having anybody that's below a six at the moment. Everybody played fantastic. Um, what can you say? You can't do much when, if you can't get three points when teams are down uh, to ten men. It's not the greatest performance. But Ariki had a solid game. Once again, showing his faith. Maybe Ted was a little late getting Firmino out there to get the goal, but... All things considered, I think we just failed to capitalize on our chances here to get the three points. After match today 25, here's what the table looks like the Premier League. We're still sitting in third place, um, only four points behind City and three behind Arsenal. That draw really kind of hurt us there in that last match, but um, we've got a three-point gap between us and uh, Tottenham. Not a bad episode, two wins and a draw, you know, you would take that on any normal day, but, you know, if you're Ted Lasso, you can't lose ground here, but uh, I guess the bright side is we do have Man City coming up in the near future, and Arsenal, we can make up ground that way, but um, then it avenged some losses, which is always good, we beat Everton in Huddersfield Town, but, you know, West Ham United, catch a break there on uh, getting the penalty to tie the game up, but... All right, so Keita did get injured in that match against West Ham United on the Obami Obiang red card. Um, definitely uh, only one week's not terrible, but definitely is going to have to sit out and give uh, some cool other guys an opportunity to play. That is going to do it for me, guys. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe for more content. And until next time, take care.